I spoke to Ari Gibson and William Pellin from Team Cherry over email, who told me this. We started with a basic linear progression of item acquirement with the idea that we would allow that progression to break apart, branch out, and wind around itself as the world grew. Team Cherry says it tried to avoid using too much signposting because it would be to the detriment of many players who, through initially being lost, find their own ways and begin to learn the layout of the kingdom on a much more personal level. Team Cherry told me that we knew players would be able to sequence break using the nail bounce technique and we absolutely wanted them to be able to do so. Watching players discover new routes is a huge joy for us and is a really empowering moment for a player. We even placed certain enemies and objects to allow some shortcuts, though they admit that the Hollow Knight community has uncovered many more skips that we'd never considered ourselves. But Team Cherry says, We wanted players to feel like their journey through the kingdom was their own, and part of that was removing barriers or opening paths to allow acquiring items or powers out of order. Team Cherry says it doesn't worry too much about whether everyone will see the content it makes. Just having it there, out of sight from most players, makes the world feel more truly alive, the developer explains. Much of it exists to convey a sense that there's always something else waiting in the unexplored recesses of the world. Fearsome enemies, strange characters, new areas, powerful items, etc. And it creates a very special experience for those few that do make the discovery. Team Cherry says it was always intentional to give players different ways to travel to and through and sometimes around areas. Team Cherry told me that we try to let the player loose in a wild world, not push them explicitly one way and reward them for choosing their own path. That approach is based on mutual trust and respect between us and the player. We know these are smart, dedicated people and we're confident that through observation, tenacity and skill, they'll deal with the challenges the world presents and ultimately gain mastery over it. It's that mastery in exploration, in combat, and in understanding the story of the world that we hope creates a memorable experience.